Yo, 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 what it do, what it be, y'all, it's your boy, Agent A-N-T, coming to y'all with another one of history's conspiracies, and today, I'm gonna be talking about MK, not the game, but MK Ultra, which is just as crazy as the game, except this shit really happened, I mean, MK is really a for real game in real life, but like, the story mode, of course, is fictional and shit, but this Shit really, really happened. MK Ultra all started in 1953 under the orders of CIA director Alan Walsh Dules or Dules. I don't know, but really the project was headed by Sidney Gottlieb, and the goals of the project were to develop mind control drugs to use against the Soviets. Allegedly, the Soviets, Chinese and North Koreans had developed and used mind control techniques on US captives and the US intelligence community saw this as something to use on the leaders of America's enemies so they also wanted to develop a truth serum or a truth drug to interrogate suspected Soviet spies and even considered using a sub oral frequencies to erase memories but that project was supposedly never carried out quote unquote air quotes but uh, <laughs> also most of the MK Ultra records were destroyed in 1973 by Richard Helms so we'll truly never understand the depth of how far this project went and how many more sub programs they had that were sponsored by the MK Ultra project but we do know that the project studied or tried to create substances that would cause memory loss, make you say or do crazy or erratic things, maybe enhance your ability to withstand torture or brainwashing, uh, maybe cause temporary paralysis in some, maybe cause blisters, make some knockout pills, uh, lower ambition, and you know have it be undetectable in strong amounts you know of course they didn't want this all in one pill they wanted you know they were working on different projects at the same time so um the list goes on uh, on what they wanted you know they pretty much wanted to make a drug decree to control people or make them seem crazy you know uh the CIA and the rest of America were really terrified of the Red Menace and its threat to American liberties and freedoms at the time, like good old Jim Crow laws, you know, nothing more American than that at the time. But uh, another thing to note is that MK Ultra wasn't the last operation of its kind, as MK Delta, MK Search, MK Often, uh, slash uh, Chickwit were operations that spanned from 1965 to 1971 and I might cover those in other videos but we're gonna stick to MK Ultra for the most part so starting in 1953 in April MK Ultra was in full swing and there's evidence out there of the CIA purchasing a hundred million doses of LSD aka acid for two hundred and forty thousand dollars like no bullshit the CIA the Central Intelligence Agency of America is linked to a purchase containing a hundred million hits of acid for just under a quarter of a million dollars now it never says whether an official purchase was made but according to NPR.org, Sidney Gottlieb arranged for the CIA to purchase the world's supply of LSD. Yes, 100 million doses of acid was the world's supply of acid. And America bought it for just under a quarter of a million dollars. Like, <laughs> I can't really repeat that enough. The, Uni the, the United States of America bought the world supply of acid and pretty much just started giving it to unsuspecting people to see what it did no literally like <laughs> K 
Ken Kesey, the author of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Robert Hunter from Grateful Dead, both were Stanford test subjects who were given LSD and uh, psilocybin, the uh, hallucinogenic compound in mushrooms. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but you get it. Uh, they were also given mescaline too, and they were told to record and report their experiences, and that that was it. <laughs> that was one part of MK Ultra. Now, Whitey Bulger, whose criminal life is common chronicled in Black Mass, was a guinea pig for MK Ultra LSD experiments when he was imprisoned in Atlanta. Uh, this was around 1957, and he was under the impression that they were testing schizophrenia curing drugs. But before he died, he discovered what actually happened to him and planned to kill the doctor in charge of drugging him. Like, oh, Whitey Bulger was an OG, but he was a rat. And he found out that a doctor in prison was, like, giving him acid or drugging him or whatever. Like, basically using him as, like, a guinea pig. Kind of like Bane in uh, Batman, except uh, with, of course, acid and not, uh, is it? Is it Venom that he that he uses? I don't know. I want to say it's Venom, but I'm I don't want to swear to it. But uh, yeah, I found out that they were kind of using him as a prison guinea pig, and he was not happy with that. But he never really carried it out before he died. So uh, yeah, Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, was also a subject uh, in psychological studies associated with MK Ultra. Uh, Lawrence Teeter, the man who assassinated Robert F. Kennedy, was said to be under some kind of mind control, even by his own lawyer, but that one you gotta take with a grain of salt, like a defense lawyer saying, you know, his client is, you know, was under mind control. You gotta, you gotta kind of take that with a grain of salt, but, uh, one, another operation that was kind of like declassified, was uh, Operation Midnight Climax, which consisted of the CIA running safe houses in San Fran, Marin County, Cali, and uh, New York City. And they put prostitutes on CIA payroll, used the prostitutes to lure men to these safe houses, gave them, like, other drugs and LSD, of course, and recorded all the experiences like through two-way mirrors and like shit like that like <laughs> not only was all that illegal like you can't just first of all you can't just put prostitutes on a government payroll like that it's frowned upon sir <laughs> like but you put it on government payroll and then pretty much was like yeah we're gonna drug the citizens and pretty much see what happens and just record what happens. What? This drug wasn't even a problem. You created the problem. You the one who bought the world's supply. <laughs> but, um, like I said, everything was completely illegal. And secretly drugging your populace is against Geneva Code rules. Uh, for sure, for sure. And, uh, it may have even led to unknown deaths. You know, the we'll never know how many people that killed or how many people were actually willing and unwilling to be drugged. Because as I've stated before, and my uh, we'll get to more in a, a little bit of a second, most of the records were destroyed. One notable death that took place during all this, though, is Frank Olson. And the government claimed that he had willingly ingested LSD but wasn't really aware of the effects until after his, the ingestion and a doctor who had been assigned to monitor uh, Frank while he slept or you know or just monitor I'm sorry he was asleep uh, while Frank apparently had a psychotic episode a week after taking acid and jumped out of a 13 story window committed suicide uh, but it was kind of reported that Gottlieb didn't take into account that Frank Olson was, you know, had suicidal tendencies, which apparently were exacerbated by the LSD, and 
All that was bullshit. <laughs> I mean, if there was a doctor watching over him, then that doctor also watched somebody beat the hell out of Frank Olsen or knock him unconscious before throwing him out of a window because uh, Frank Olsen's family even said he was murdered. And apparently they were right because they said the CIA was paranoid about him spilling the beans on secrets he personally knew about. They were kind of had a right to be suspicious or and or paranoid though because Frank Olsen was kind of moving shifty in his last days. Like this isn't excusing them for killing somebody, but it, it kind of turns out, it kind of seems like Frank Olsen was morally conflicted as during this time there was a lot of change going on uh, behind the scenes in the U.S. and even, you know, culture-wise mainstream, but... The U.S. was drugging its people without their consent or knowledge. They started using torture methods and started working with Nazi and Japanese scientists for more knowledge on the art of mind control and torture and beating those damn commies to the moon. And I'll talk about Operation Paperclip in another video, but right before he died, Frank Olsen resigned as acting chief of operations of the second of the Special Operations Division in what is now Fort Detrick in Maryland and when Frank Olson's body was exhumed in 1994 it was revealed that due to cranial injuries it was evident that Frank Olson was knocked unconscious before being thrown out of a 13-story window and the US government paid his family $750,000 three quarters of a million dollars in a settlement and that that's just one death we know about I mean they literally made up a whole report fate all oh, he was suicidal and the a doctor was you know must have been asleep while we monitored him after you know we dosed him and you know we we made sure to take all the no you didn't he took it you tried to drug him you, th you thought maybe the drug would maybe like erase his memory or something no I don't know what they were thinking but whatever they thought the drug was gonna do didn't happen so they just threw him out of they, they got rid of him the old-fashioned way threw him out of a fucking window and tried to cover it up and his family knew it was a cover-up and they basically paid off his family <laughs> like and that's just one death. Like, like think about that. They spent two hundred they spent a quarter of a million getting the acid. And they spent three quarters of a million paying off one death. Not even from the acid, but from like covering up the whole operation. I can't even imagine how much money was spent overall. Like there were other experiments too in Germany you know overseas in Japan and the Philippines that were under the MK Ultra umbrella and Victor Marchetti revealed in 1994 which is kinda crazy that's the same year that uh, they exhumed Frank Olson's body but maybe that's just a coincidence but he revealed in 1994 that mind control testing and research was still being conducted at the CIA and that MK Ultra was carried out you know in other in you know future years other years just under a different name and whether or not the CIA ever found their truth serum is unknown but you think about this they had a heart attack gun and developed a cloning process before the internet was even popular so who knows what kind of men in black shit they got nowadays I'm just thankful they kind of introduced well, not even kind of. They introduced LSD and either inadvertently or some speculate purposely or purposefully. I don't know which one is a word. I'm going to have to look it up. But they, they either accidentally or purposely created the hippie counterculture in America. But again, that's, that's a video for another time. And uh, as for like the rest of the records you know like I said the the director a future director destroyed all of them and pretty much claimed like oh nothing was on them pretty much like when uh the 
LAPD destroyed all the records from like what was it the year of the Rodney King riots yeah nothing suspicious going on there just deleting some old records about you know cases that nobody ever really seen or heard of before may hold some good information but huh that's for us to know and you to never find out Mwaha. it's just crazy but again uh, if you like this video leave a like uh, or comment on a conspiracy or mystery I should cover go ahead and subscribe and by God ring the damn bell so you don't miss none of the big shit I got popping and hot content I got dropping or follow me on Twitter where you can see my content and streams right when they drop at ANT underscore 303. It's been your boy, Agent ANT, repping the spell block Agent C. Be safe out there, y'all. Don't get smoked. And I'm out. I'm going to go ahead and. This, this was a tough little game again. I hate new. Liu Kang noob and motherfucking scorpion players, bro. I don't respect y'all, y'all like some scrubs, it's just me personally, but, like, even then, be safe, y'all, except for the, those players out there, be safe, don't get smoked, I'm out for real this time, peace. Fatality. Raven wins.